Hi, everybody. It's me. And I have a wonky kerchief in my hair because I have curls in. And I'm just trying to hold them and tell. I want to do uh, make a review on the um, packs that um, Dina Watkins sent me. Um, so, uh, I've already put my base on, my palette, I might call it, or my um, canvas or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, my back is still bothering me. I wish it wasn't, but it is. But that doesn't mean, like, if I stopped everything every time I had an ache and pain, then I'd never do anything. So, I've got eye primer on my eyes, and I've got um, my makeup on. Um, the primer I used was um, a CoverGirl Intense Shadow Blast that I just received the other day. And it's like a, a beige, under-based one, because I'm planning on using the e.l.f. palette that I got from Dina Watkins. I'm excited to use it, so I'm just going to start. I'm just going to go ahead and, like, start. And uh, I'm going to start with this lightest color here. And I'm going to color in my eyebrows. So nice. Eyebrows. You can already see, I can already see, I hope you guys can see how nice of a color that's going on. And you don't always have to, and it's not a rule to make your um right underneath there eyebrows or your eye bone thing a lighter color but if you want your eyes to be a, like sunken eyes like I do they kind of, you can kind of see my a skeleton <laughs> I don't know skeleton and then we want to put this light color the same light color right in the cor corners of our eyes because we get that dark if you look at your eyes we get that darkness right there and uh, we just want to put that in there. And yes, I may look really thin. My face is being hollowed out. That's just because it's summer and it's really hot. And I have this cold during the summer and I don't like it. Okay, so I'm debating what to use next. Um, I'm really thinking that I'm going to use on my eyelid this um, color here. It's right here, and it's a shimmery color. And I don't know if the camera will pick up those shimmers. But I am going to put that on. And this is a neutral palette. So that means basically anybody can wear this, and it's a good thing anybody to have because not everybody goes out with um, bright colors all the time and it is nice to have neutral colors which I definitely love and with brown eyes it always looks nice and that looks nice there okay so for the crease Mm, I my I'm going to use, I'm trying to figure out which one I'm going to use. I'm going to use the darkest brown that's right next, so I'm using them all three in a row. Uh, for the crease, I'm going to use this one here. And I have to look here to do this because, holy cow, this goes on really pigmented. And that's good because most of this, when you put this on, you're going to blend off. So it's okay that it looks dark. A lot of people will say, holy cow, you're putting a lot of makeup on. But once you blend it out, it's going to look good and it's going to look fine. So there I got them. And I wish this would stop turning. So, and then just for my 
corner of my eye, I'm going to use this dark one down here. And I'm just going to put that in the corner, like so. this in the corner and we put a good amount on because you want to be able to blend this and we want to be able to use the extras which I am going to do right now as I find my blending brush which I have a few of but I have a special one that I love to use Right now, I'm not finding it, so I'm going to use this one here. And I'll brush. Nope. So I'm going to start blending this out. And how you do this is just like you kind of go in like circles and then you blend it up and out. You don't want to um, like just go like this. Okay, you can see the difference of you can see the difference of this side blended out, then this side that's not blended out. You can see how it's much lighter and uniformed and looks pretty, and it's not like a messy color with this side. I just put it on, and now I'm going to blend it out, and then you're going to see that it. Does end up. I'll try to use the mirror on here. Does end up looking a lot better than you think it's going to when you put that much makeup on. <clears throat> the thing is, you, you want to put a good amount on it the first time because it's very easy to, like it blends in, it does that, push you. Okay, so I have a lot of fallout. That's okay because that's what normally happens. So you're going to take, I'm just going to dab these two colors without trying to mix them too hard. And I'm going to do my under eye and bring it out. Okay. This is going to look harsh until I fix it right away, too. And I'll try to do this. You can see what I'm doing. Okay. And then, let me just clean that up a little bit. And it's going to be cleaned up a lot more. I don't want to miss it. It's so hard doing it for an audience when you're just doing it for yourself. Because you just like, you don't, you don't do it how you'd normally do it, I find. But, okay, so there we go. That's how it's going to look. And I'm just going to wipe my brushes off. And, uh, I'm going to get my little blotter out. with my concealer which I just have a little um, undercover Bonnie Bell thing and what I do is take a little brush brush all the extras away because we're still not done under here and I'm just going to some of that under there too. So, next thing I'm going to do is, it's so hot, so like makeup is like basically melting off your face right now, which really is sucky. I am going to use a little bit of this stuff. I don't know if anybody saw that I got it. It's um, e.l.f. and it's a shimmer. It's a shine shimmer. It's a shimmering facial whip. 
And it's kind of like a pinkish color. And I'm going to put a little bit of a glow into my cheeks. Which you would do right up here. And I'm just going to bring that up. And same with on the other side. This stuff is um from um iCade House. It's basically a dollar store online. And we're gonna put some shimmer on there. We're gonna get some shimmer. Right there. And just put it on the places where you want it to shimmer because like if you put it on a place where you don't want you know anybody to be looking at and then after that I'm just going to clean up with that stuff that concealer that I put on there underneath my eyes okay and now I'm going to use this is going to be the fun part you need a wet one you always need wet ones or not wet ones but <laughs> I don't babies but facial cleaning and I'm going to put she gave me this um, cover girl blush I've already put um, what's that stuff called um I've already put bronzer. That's what I'm looking for the name for. And then we're going to put these on both sides. And this is the color that she gave me. And it's really going well with my cheekbones. If you can see that. And I'm actually even using a little thing. And I love this color. And it is the color of Cheekers Blush. Okay, so let's finish our eyes. Okay, so I am going to. I got all these beautiful eyeliners from her. I hope I have them all here. And I am going to. Start off with the black. I never use a black pencil on my top of my eye, but I thought I would today just for something to do. So I'm going to try this. It's been years. Oh my goodness. It's been years since I put a pencil eyeliner on. And it goes on amazing. This is the elf shimmer eyeliner pencil and I already know I like it because the reasons that I have it was because I'm like very old and the old like what I'm used to from when I was like 15 or 16 eye pencils I was used to used to used to have to mount them like literally we used to run the hot water and put our eyeline pencil on there and melt them so they would actually look like they're black, black, like they should be color. And I am so loving this. This is, honest to goodness, first time I have used an eyeliner pencil. The sides on my eyebrows are underneath my eyes and on my topper eye. My topper eye, my upper eye. And I'm loving it. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it justice because it does have. shimmer in it. It does have shimmer in it. And I'm really liking this. Huh. 
I've been waiting for an eyeliner like this. Look at that. And, like, it actually totally stays because I just made a mistake. And they have their own pencil sharpener, each one. Just went over the lines, out of the lines. I color over the lines all the time. And. It is not budging. But look at that. I really like it. You can see where I went on the line here. I'm just going to look at I can touch that up. I love this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one that she gave me and it's elf shimmer eyeliner as well and it's like uh, I don't see what color they are but it's like a shimmery brownie gold I don't know what color and I'm from the bottom of my line I And I like the way that looks too. And don't mind my sniffles. Okay. So just to fix that up a little bit. Because I made a boo boo there. And I hope you guys can all see this good. I know the lighting is horrible. It's hard to have proper lighting. It always is. I'm just adding a touch more of this from the same palette, the white stuff. You see, when I turn this light off, you can see anything different. Okay, so. I'm really liking this palette, and I like um, these colors, and I like the blush, the color of the blush is perfect <coughs> for me, and now we are going to do the eyelashes with the mascara that she got me, which is the e.l.f. Volume Plumping Mascara, and for anybody who doesn't know that I just learned how to use these eyelash curlers. And you have to like hold them for 30 seconds, but I lose patience, so I go back and forth. Because I find like they poke my eye, make my eyes start watering, and then <clears throat> I just give up. So, look at the brush on this. And I'm excited about using this. Okay. It doesn't clump, that's for sure. As you all might know, I like to apply several layers of mascara just because I'm not a big fan of false eyelashes. I'm really loving this. 
I just dabbed it on my eye again. You guys are not going to be able to see how amazing this product is. Because my camera is just too lame. I'm just loving this. Seriously, I am. That's why we put a lot of under eye stuff on. She seriously has to know that I'm serious about my mascara to get, I usually have to use two. I'm able to use one with this. Okay, this is amazing. And I want you guys to all be able to see this. So I know you can't. I'm just going to clean up a little bit of the mistakes I made. Okay. Yeah. I even see this mascara. I don't know if you can see it properly, but it is perfect, and I love it. And I don't think I would, like I would have to put another one on on top or, ben or b beneath it. I just, I need a proper, and I do have like a better camera, it's just that it's so, I don't know how to use it. So, okay, and then for the lips, I'm going to be putting on this, the Revlon that she gave me, and I'm very excited about it. It hasn't even been tried. And It's looking really nice. And to go with it, the lip gloss that she gave me, the Secret Agent lip gloss. Oh my. These are match made in heaven. And I'm pretty sure this one smells. I wish I wasn't so sick. It smells like something familiar to me, and I don't know what it is. But this is how it turns out. And I love it. And I would just want to thank you again. And I'm going to keep trying them all. I wish I could be better and faster and more of a makeup artist <laughs> than I am. But I'm just going to finish this all off with the rest of my hair, which I had all done in curls. And oh my goodness. Oh well, we've come this far. Let us
Where is my signature hairstyle? And I love the way I look. I love everything you sent. And thank you. My lips feel marvelous. <laughs> thank you, Dina. Bye.